Oh, we're recording now. Hello. Oh. Hello. Have you ever won? Have you ever wanted to be the Incredible Hulk? Got any green paint? <laughs> yeah, we we do it. It's the Incredible Hulk competition auditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who can be Lou Ferrigno? <laughs> well, I don't think I'll get very oh, far with that. Oh dear, oh me. But uh, anyway, just makes you realise how much bollocks there is. I mean, come on, how can you have a, you know, Incredible Hulk? I mean, it's it's just ridiculous, isn't it? A human being oh, turning yeah, yeah. into this, into this green monster. Which is these globe trolls? These it's, it's globies. Just fucking stupid, isn't it? These globies think it's real. Yeah, these globe people think a lot of this stuff yeah. is real when Absolutely. it's not. Batman Obviously. is going to save Gotham City. Absolutely, yeah. Of course, in his underpants. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Spider Man's going to climb up some walls. Absolutely, yeah. Spins webs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. Yeah. And they, you can just imagine them all at the cinema eating their popcorn while they're watching the movie. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. And James Bond. <laughs> And James Bond's going to save the world. And James Bond, every year, saves the world, doesn't he? Yeah, he's going to save the every world. Every year, does it, every time. Yeah. Down and down, 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 PPK. Yeah, with his water pistol. Oh, uh, it's just absolute. <laughs> oh, uh, you got to love it. I mean, I haven't watched it's the movie. It's just entertainment. I haven't watched the movie for years, for a long, long time. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is, is that they call it entertainment because you watch it on a screen. And it's it's really crap entertainment, oh. isn't it? It's crap entertainment. When, when you actually think when about you think it. about it, because they don't even make it lifelike. Absolutely, yeah, they? of course, yeah. So um, anyway, how are you, Peter? Today, are you well? Are you well? Or are you well? Yeah, I'm alright actually. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, had a really? slightly stressful day, but it's uh, it's eased eased Ooh. eased off now. Mm. Panned out to be okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had a quite a good day today. It's been yeah. quite been like, nice. Been like, been like, been like, been like uh, some of the in the lyrics of the song we're going to sing. Absolutely, of course. But uh, we thought we'd do um, this video. Um, yeah, very because, important because it is I too. feel I feel um, that this we've is groundbreaking a, stuff. We've reached a milestone. We've, now we've reached we've reached a milestone. And you know, I, I thought it was it was uh, worthy of making a video specifically to do with this. And, Absolutely. Uh, but before we get going, before we should we actually get going. we should actually um, <clears throat> get get the song over with today. And uh, must thank uh, most conscious. Here we go again. Um, I wonder what would happen in the electrolysis, electrolysis of steam. steam. Um, probably. Is that steam as in water vapor? Well, steam is water vapor. Yeah, but you still yeah. need to put an electrolyte in the. You'll still need to add your electrolyte, electrolyte. and then you've got to think how are you going to do so that? How are you going to do that? You're going to put uh, when your medium isn't your medium is kind of broken. If you're on, yeah. It's like if you're in a if you're in a steam room, and you had um, yeah. you had your anode and cathode, and then you had instead of sure steam coming in, you had a solution of salt water mm. that was the steam would your electrodes actually conduct well i t i firmly think that when you steam is a good cleaner steam you can clean you clean cars with steam steam right. clean engines it takes out the creases cars. as well steam. it is very very good cleaner so what you might find is because what well, i know uh, well we discovered that how they make hydrogen <coughs> if it is hydrogen of course and that is they steam uh, uh, they they steam form state they steam form it no, basically what? they just no they just chuck kind of like natural gas and they just um put it through steam essentially yeah what what we've actually so it acts like a filter one, steam is a very yeah. good cleanser one thing with hydrogen oh which yeah, is probably it's hydrogen. why it's got hydro hydro yeah. hydro meaning hydro water. water hydro power water power is the fact that i was going to sneeze is the fact that the the gas 
is when it's processed, when it's made, goes through water. Goes through water of some description, whether some it's description. steam. So usually steam, actually. I your suppose. your the the bubbles that go come off at the. Cathode, or it's interacted with steam. The bubbles that come off at the cathode go through water. Go through water. To the top. So you could actually you could actually put forward that the water cleans that gas. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Water cleans so the it gas. takes out <laughs> all the impurities. Absolutely, of course, yeah. I mean, who knows, you know. Who knows? It's nice to... Uh, but there's always that, um, just as much as oxygen is likened to heat. Yeah, yeah. Hydrogen is to water. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, who knows? That's if hydrogen... But hydrogen is always a derivative of the substance being of its source of it, absolutely of course yeah. but uh, so but, uh, yeah i don't anyway. feel we should get into it too much but the, the song request from most conscious was end of the line by the traveling will yeah, and, and voila we yeah. have no i think he's actually uh, there we go we have the end of the line by the traveling will yeah. so there we go just for you most conscious here is the traveling will and end of the line karaoke for you and if yeah. anyone wants to join in Please feel Please free. So, yeah, if you want to be uh, Jeff Lynn or maybe Roy Orbison. Or even Georgie, baby. Or Tom, Tommy. Tom Petty. Or, yeah, Roy, Big O. Tom Petty. So, yeah, opposite Petty. Petty. Oh, it's not really. It's Petty, really. Well, it's all Petty, right. Really. Riding around in the breeze. Well, it's all right. If you live the life you please. Well, it's all right. Doing the best that you can, well, it's all right. As long as you lend a hand, you can sit around and wait for the phone to ring. Waiting for someone to tell you everything. It's all right. Sit around and wonder what tomorrow will bring. It's all right. Maybe a diamond ring. Well, it's all right, even if they say that you're wrong. Well, it's all right, sometimes you gotta be strong. Well, it's all right, as long as you got somewhere to lay. Well, it's all right, every day is Judgment Day. Yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe somewhere down the road a ways It's all right You'll think of me Wonder where I am these days Maybe somewhere down the road when somebody plays Purple haze Well it's all right End of the line Even when push comes to shove Well it's all right If you got someone to love well, it's all right. Everything will work out fine. Well, it's all right. We're going to the end of the line. There we go. I don't think we should do any more. Otherwise, we'll have copyright people all over us. Yeah, we'll have it banned. We'll be banned from YouTube, won't we? Anyway. That's, that's, that's quite energetic doing, doing quite, those. quite a little uh, good exercise isn't it that is actually yeah we could do our own make up our own little exercise routine, routine yeah for youtubers you know oh, it's we? been like mr motivator when mr year, motivator years years, years, years ago, ago yeah. breakfast television yeah mr motivator yeah. whenever when most people have already had their breakfast and f fucked off to work and weren't absolutely. watching the television absolutely it's crazy isn't I, it? I was actually talking about motivation Oh yeah, motivation. I actually motivation. Went. Motivation. That's what you need. If you want to get off your ass. And you want to do lots of things. Well, motivation's what you need. If you want to be a motivator. Yeah. I often wondered. No, I had actually wondered that someone might ask me, what motivates people? Yeah, what motivates people? What, what motivates some people would say money. Money motivates money. people. I would I would disagree with that. I would disagree with that as well. I what would. I would say uh -huh. is motivates people is that somebody wants them. Absolutely, yeah. The 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 wanting from other people. Or the wanting by other people. That is what motivates people. Yeah. Is being wanted. Being wanted. Some people might you be reluctant though. Some people would argue though. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, no, 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 yeah, but you could have a, you could have a, uh, say you could have a, a plumber 
wouldn't get out of bed for 200 pounds a day absolutely yeah wouldn't even get out of bed but if you ring him up you want him to do so your job sitting there. and you're willing to pay him 200 quid it'd be around around your house like a shop absolutely it'll be around you know if cause somebody wants him oh you couldn't fix my bath or you couldn't absolutely, fix the boiler yeah. or you couldn't do that yeah. somebody wants him anyway but i went actually went somewhere today and somebody said to me oh yeah because i actually said to him oh yeah well what did they say you, to you well i was just in conversation and, and yeah, I, was, yeah. I said to them you can do whatever you want to do in life um i would probably as long as you don't cause any harm injury or loss you can do whatever you want to sure. do sure as long as you want to do it as long as you truly want to do yeah, it. yeah you've got to want to it's do a it. genuine design now a genuine lot of people design. a lot of people are whimsical they can't they can't differentiate yeah, between yeah, genuine desire yeah. and when a, 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 a wish or something that they have yeah, is just a whim I've always wanted to go to Cape Canaveral. I've always wanted to be a space launch. astronaut. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to the moon. Yeah. yeah I've well, always wanted to go and see an observatory, go and look through a oh, telescope, well, yeah. see all these stars. <laughs> I've always wanted to go and say hello to Brian Cox. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted that. Believe it or not, that we actually have had a relative who wanted to before he died he went to Cape oh Canaveral. sure yeah, yeah. <clears throat> always wanted to do it always, always wanted to go yeah. do, it's like a shrine to all to some people yeah or oh, sorry to a lot of people they've got to go to cape canaveral before they die oh, once in their life you know I mean? it's a bit like going to the just the like mecca going to, just like going to an amusement park or, or just going to just like going to mecca Crazy. you know got to go to all these muslims got to go to mecca at least once in yeah. their life you know fancy going to scarborough for the weekend absolutely oh do you want to go to cape canaveral i see nash has got a new exhibition there it's absolute it's fucking ridiculous bullshit. So, it's, it's yeah, bullshit. bullshit absolutely yeah i mean do you remember so. watching the watching nathan oakley and uh martin leidke going around the space museum oh, the in space leicester Sense, national, national space, space center in leicestershire yeah, no, if that absolute was, rubbish if that was you and me you and me would have gone to a member of staff there this is bollocks and we would have said so what do you think of it all it's, it's bollocks this isn't is, it? it's this absolute is, tacky it's a waste of money absolute, absolute tacky but it's somewhere to take the kids it's somewhere for people to go and waste a bit Fill of time up their heads fill up their heads with bullshit absolutely now now on tonight's little bit we're going to uh, present um something uh, something that is i th i feel groundbreaking well it's more than it, it could be air breaking it could be air breaking water breaking, breaking yeah. but the, the the thing is it's come about through over four or five months of videos and doing some research and, and, and conversations and conversations with numerous people and um basically at the end of the day on our last upload um i did mention that um um i had the idea that air and water are the same thing are the same stuff the same stuff yeah one's, one's liquid one's gas one's wet one's no dry difference. now that view has been echoed has, oh, has, by other people has resonated resonated well with other people <laughs> so if we go back to um so on our last, last upload why does the sun not like my not look like my lamp yeah, and uh and hold on paul darcy 10 out of 10. yeah paul darcy for 10 spotting, out of 10 for spotting the, the obvious that he went to a tacky hotel that he went to a tacky hotel and the light fitting has not been recessed into the, the ceiling, ceiling. Well, and that's one of the reasons why his light doesn't, doesn't look, look like <laughs> the sun but um we oh, had um crazy. where's now where's where's uh, it's on i've got to where's oh there there i'm sure it's here yeah paul darcy thank you ever so much paul um <clears throat> He wrote a gas bottle contains liquid and vapor. Why aren't you maximizing the uh sorry, yeah. Why aren't you putting our our thing on our dark what thing? thing? Oh. Come on, it's got to be on dark thing. Dark theme. There we go, look, dark That's theme. There we go. Better on the eyes. Better on those. A gas bottle, Paul Darcy wrote. A gas bottle contains liquid and vapor. Vapor. It's all about containment. So I, I wrote like I wrote people. to I wrote Prisons. to Paul. Good morning, Paul what are you referring to that needs containment do you mean water people um <clears throat> and paul paul wrote, replied yes or yeah a bottle of gas will contain liquid plus a space containing vapor, vapor. 
so water, air, and a dome for, for containment. containment. Ah, you see, Paul is touching on something that we overlooked or we didn't really think about. Yeah, but you, and me, you, you and me don't really apply it to the don't apply the wider, things the wider to the picture. bigger picture. Absolutely, yeah. And um, so Paul Darcy wrote again: "Air is just thin water." Now, because we we've both, yeah. so we're both thinking alike here. Um, and I wrote uh, back, excellent, air and water equals same stuff. Only difference is that water is denser or more pressurised. All we need to do is think of a name for oh, it. Yeah. And then Steve VH, thank you ever yeah. so much, Steve, for, for responding or for leaving a comment. Um, Pete and Pete, I was thinking the same thing last night, right. that air is water in a gaseous, gaseous form. form yeah. Now, we've got so much, we've, well, we're getting a lot of people to agree or to think on the same lines that air and water are the same, same stuff, stuff. one's liquid one's gas but they are the same stuff and it was we got we got the kettle to thank for that as well absolutely so steve a, steve v a, hv sorry replied pete and pete you need to ask for proof not evidence because in the simplest terms proof is conclusive but evidence isn't of course yes evidence is only information absolutely evidence yeah. is information it could be a piece of paper but that's not proof is it it could be a diagram just, ev, ev, it could be a diagram on a written drawn oh. on a piece of paper it could be a calculation it could be someone's testimony oh sorry it could be an unconfirmed absolutely. calculation yeah absolutely yeah so evidence is more of a suggestion the use of evidence is to make it clear that there are other possibilities well. give up the good work guys still think of a new word lol yeah. where all oh, right yeah where yeah. to air to needs more thought i think yeah he knows where we're going, coming from, though. But abs he's absolutely spot on, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. So Steve? We, we have a we have a plea. We, we, have, we have a plea to ask a, people we if you've got. We have a, <clears throat> a request. We have a uh, trying to think of that. William Teller, who said, but it is a plea. It is a thing that the heart. I make. I make a, Yeah, I make a plea to everyone who who watches the video, um, to, to try and think of some name, a, a name that we can call this air water well no i think I think, I think it's important for people to think start thinking to themselves that i know it might sound for a lot of people yeah a lot of people might think we're, dark, we're mad we're, we're mad, crazy we're crazy. whatever insane but if you really actually think about it and think about the information that what the globe is telling us the globe society is telling us about <clears throat> water and air absolutely such is wrong we can make our own conclusions and one of those is what we're making here and that is water and air at the same, same thing stuff. the same stuff one's in a gaseous form one's in a liquid one's in a liquid form, form. now so whoosh. all we need to do is think up a name for it think up a name for it now there are lots of reasons and why we think those names either there are lots of reasons why we think air and water are the same stuff absolutely one one in in that it can be demonstrated that air and water are the same stuff in boiling water simply Absolutely, boiling yeah. water will boiling show to people that air and water are the same stuff, stuff yeah because when your water bubbles those bubbles contain air though those bubbles contain air and where did that where did that air come from where did the air come from absolutely it come from the water absolutely think about it this and, way and when you also think about it it could help us further then look at clouds clouds absolutely yeah clouds because there's there's water vapor in the atmosphere in the atmosphere there's moisture in the atmosphere there's lots of moisture in the atmosphere, the atmosphere yeah absolutely but when you when you really do think think about it now we're told this is this is what we're told by mainstream when we go to school we're told that air comprises oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, and some other trace elements. Okay, and they're all kind of like mixed together to cr to make air. Mm. That is air. This is what we're told. We're told that water is hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. Yeah. This is what we're told. So essentially, they're kind of separate. It's two separate things, as it were, air mm. and water. Also, yeah. Now we've tried to find evidence, proof that there is oxygen and hydrogen in water. We can't find any. No. Can we? No. We can't find any at all. None whatsoever. Lots of videos on YouTube say 
making water from hydrogen and oxygen but none of them show you the water none of them oh well, yeah none yeah. of them because some people say some people say yeah but when you burn hydrogen there's at least moisture on the outside of the but there's the moisture vessel. there's moisture in the air and yet a lot of people fail to realize that there is moisture in, in the, the air. air and when you it's like here absolutely right now right in front of us we have a couple of lights absolutely yeah up a propped up against a window a window absolutely and when we move the light fitting away from the there's window there's condensation when we, when on we the finished, window on the glass when we finish there's condensation on the glass because the heat's meeting the cold, cold surface. surface yeah so but there's no flame there absolutely there's no hydrogen there absolutely but yeah of course we've created water absolutely all it all we're saying is is that when if when people tell you well if you burn hydrogen you'll get water that's absolute rubbish in the sense that the water doesn't come from the hydrogen absolutely the hydrogen the, the only reason why it's why water is produced is purely through condensation the hydrogen gas when lit um, generates a lot of heat and that obviously meets the cold air absolutely yeah. and causes condensation yeah, to absolutely. form on surfaces <clears throat> so it doesn't you know you don't have to be a brain box to work this one out so anyway didn't uh, <clears throat> Stuart leave a comment and oxygen well when we go back so so there's water when we look at the fish swimming in the in water okay they're supposed to breathe in oxygen through their gills and they breathe out th through their gills ag again or from their gills say carbon dioxide oh. gaseous exchange but we never see any bubbles oh so you there could, are no bubbles so you could actually call water liquid air yeah water is liquid air so fish breathe liquid air absolutely i mean it's 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 a good good way of thinking about this um absolutely. i'm trying to also think i mean oxygen in the air there's no evidence no evidence or proof i should say thank you steve um there is no proof that oxygen is a constituent of air in fact there is no proof that air constit is constituted with oxygen nitrogen argon all of the and other trace gases trace trace elements you know there's no proof at all absolutely none whatsoever because they're all man-made gases absolutely of course we firmly feel that um we firmly feel that um all of these gases that can exist within the air exist like odors absolutely yeah, basically yeah, yeah. so when you're in yeah. a the air just facilitates the air is the medium in which these gases to like move yeah. to move and to exist in absolutely so oxygen exists within the air it's a bit like if you wanted to if you were a passenger and you wanted to get on the train you couldn't get on the train if the train wasn't there so you wouldn't be a passenger would you absolutely so how, how does that how is that analogous to oxygen well, the air is the train the air is the and train. The gas is the passenger and the gas the oxygen say so yeah the <clears> oxygen <throat> or carbon dioxide carbon the dioxide. passenger absolutely yeah the passenger gets on the train and we're, we're beginning to realize carbon that carbon dioxide gets on the air yeah to then uh what's that word D diffuse and we diffuse be absolutely and we're beginning to realize we're beginning to realize that a lot of these gases are made by made by um changing the properties of air because through some, a certain process oh well, yeah because i.e heat for example because another thing you've got to think about also and that is oh yes filtration filtration because if you've got all these gases that are not don't form part of the air but are in the air yeah what happens to them over a period of time do they suddenly get does the air clean itself i reckon the air cleans it cleanses like, itself like a dog who's got well, fleas <clears throat> and it's scratching well i i tend to think that the the earth is a is a an organism self sustaining self-sustaining ecosystem ecosystem so if you put up loads of Shits. shit and crap in the air and or mix it in with the air that's a better way of saying putting it 
then the, the, this shit that you put in the air it will eventually diffuse and over a long over a period of time it won't be there anymore because it will become air absolutely yeah you know yeah. <clears throat> and it's it you know it's it's so easy to work these things out you know a lot mm. of the pollution that we have in our cities for example a lot of it goes in the air it gets diffused in the yeah. air but over a period of time it becomes air yeah, because basically. of natural processes yeah, yeah make it into air or you could argue it does clean itself yeah but it it, it, it would do anyway absolutely i mean it's it's it, when you think about it it's a wonderful way of looking at it you know I'm, I'm you know i'm trying to think that you know that i mean when you think about it logically you know it's like how how do they how do they measure air pollution what do, do they, they do i don't i really don't know air maybe pollution. they've got some ph paper I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Perhaps we should start yeah. looking at oh, that. air pollution. Yeah, how do they measure? How do they measure air, air pollution? Yeah, who knows? But the but the main thing is is that um, oh yeah, how how do they measure the amount of CO two in the air? So it's, it's just it's, yeah. How, how do they do oh, that? Dear, it's just ridiculous. But what we're saying, have what, everyone going. What we're saying. <sighs> oh look, we've measured quite a lot today because everyone's been breathing out absolutely i mean it's crazy but what we're seeing is air water exactly the same stuff one's liquid one's gas um mm. boiling water um gives proves yeah. proves that proves that yeah. proves, proves that when we watch water boil you know and when it rains well when it when it rains even, as well even convection. even when it rains convection rain also adds to the also adds to that proof yeah. convectional rainfall where does rain come from it comes from air, air. yeah absolutely where do clouds exist they exist in the air yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah the more you think about it the more, the more you think about it the more you begin to realize that it's absolutely it's spot, fucking on. spot on anyway absolutely but let us know what you think you know if you think we're if you think if you don't agree with, with it then that's fine but i think it's i think it's lovely well, if it's a good way to move it, forward disagree with it, but i think from from comments that we're receiving from from people yeah it sounds very plausible indeed and it's something that we will pursue absolutely yeah because it's, it's it's a it's a point of view that i'd certainly want to adopt but um stuart pound left us a comment um on our last video he wrote excellent making sense of the nonsense funny how water boils as you raise in altitude or reduce the pressure because if you put water in a vacuum chamber it will boil yeah. so air must there must be a relationship between air and water and water it's quite obvious to me that for us to have air in a liquid form upon earth requires a container pressure vessel plus pressure and or heat all liquid gases i know are of, of are in pressure vessels with the liquid at the bottom and the gas at the top due to the relative density. density now he's Stuart along with Paul are both pointing to and uh, basically Steve, Steve and VA. Steve I'm sure are all pointing to the dome well yeah that's what us living in an enclosed system. system that's that's what they're getting so, so we'll go we'll go on to the wiki page and that's something that you and me haven't really uh, Adopted. yeah we've yeah we've not really kind of like it's because it's it's very difficult to prove oh yeah but, a firmament or dome but, it's but very difficult to prove there's, so there's lots of people saying about how can you have two go pressure on this systems? one here how can you have two pressure systems oh yeah yeah how can you have two pressure systems existing well with space outer space and the, the atmosphere of the earth and you're saying well it's not really a a, a, a vacuum not really a vacuum it's just Sorry, it becomes to... pressure less pressure less the higher you go up oh you go up yeah but now this adds a different um absolutely see, it's got a different twist to it it's now. got a different twist because if you if you if you didn't have a lot of people tend to think that the the flat earth is an infinite plane but then you tend to think that surely if it was an infinite plane how far would the atmosphere stretch would it stretch all the way across infinitely you know 
a whole mm. lot if it didn't it would just collapse on itself and you know get very low you know yeah 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 so it it does make sense that you'd need something to contain it all especially if you're if we if we go on the fact that water and air are the same stuff they're very closely related to mm. one another they'd need a container absolutely to contain it all you know um you know i tend to i i well, you know only, only, it's but that's only going on the basis that water and air are the of the same stuff that's going on the basis that water and air are of, of the, the same, same stuff. stuff but i'm trying to think that water isn't air and air isn't water they're different but i, I you know i can't get away from that now mm. because i'm thinking that they are the same stuff yeah yeah you know it's it's really well worth thinking about whether whether air and water are the same stuff i mean classical elements years ago people used to think sorry sorry the the a lot of people used to think years ago the, with the classical elements air and water were separate but it's looking likely it's looking that the likely that, that they're the same stuff same stuff yeah they are the same stuff it wouldn't it be amazing if you could get all Air, the air itself could metamorphosize well, when you into about, all yeah. the other gases as well. Well, I mean, you, you look at... Isn't that in interesting? Yeah, I mean, you look at the process of evaporation. Absolutely. Where water. does the water go? Where does the water go? It turns to air. Absolutely. You know, you see the puddle on a hot day, the sun's oh, beating down. Now. The puddle, you can probably see a little bit of steam coming off, off of maybe even a hot roof see the steam coming off but it disappears where did it, it go where did it go will it return it became air it's possible and one of the things you've got to think about and that is when it's sitting on the in that puddle it's particle isn't it well the water the water is particle. water's particle, particle particleized but when it evaporates and becomes a gas it becomes a gas it then becomes more of a more wave more wave energy in other words it's it's more it has more, more energy energy absolutely because we often think that uh we often think that a uh, lot gases have more energy than what um solids have. solids have and yeah because yeah so that water must <clears throat> must must change must the, the, the heat yeah increases the energy in that water absolutely yeah of course and also one of the, another thing another point to make and that is um in physics water and air are both considered to be fluids absolutely so you know i mean you know i mean it's really 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 good to be able to get to a point where we can start saying that water and air are the same stuff absolutely it would be so interesting to to hear or to read the comments from these globe people oh well yeah yeah you know so flat um, earth counterculture, flat earth counterculture. Yeah. leave us a comment leave let us, us know comment what there. you think who yeah. else let us know what you think anyone out yeah. there who's a globey let us know what you think in the comments you know yeah. your views will be um highly yeah. uh valued and that goes for you mr conrad we know you're there oh mr conrad hi pt we know you're there yeah. are you still waiting to see if that if those jet oh, turbine yeah. engines are run off um fuel the, 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 they and oh, the yeah. wings of air, air oh, yeah. passenger aircraft carry oh. fuel and because mr conrad has been dying to know what oh. you and me oh, think that's is right. air absolutely you've been dying, dying to, know. to know and now you know what we think air yeah, is. is air is water. water absolutely absolutely but in a gas it's form gaseous form gaseous form absolutely yeah. that's what air is. is yeah absolutely yeah got you there haven't we eh? yeah so anyway uh, I, you yeah. know i don't want to go into it too much but uh, there you go yeah it, that's it, it. It, it i've got to admit it does make you feel so good to be a flat earther absolutely your thinking is a lot better clearer has it, it's it a has lot clearer so clarity yeah. you've got you've got so much of an of, of an advantage over all of these <laughs> globies globe, globies yeah, cause they're, they're stuck they're stuck in this mechanical physics they're stuck on stuck on newton yep, absolutely that was 400 yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, yeah, that was on, rubbish yeah, absolutely let's move on come on let's yeah. you know well, this is 2018 globies are stuck in the past globies are stuck in the past, past. they don't they're scared to move forwards yeah you know but, but um there well, you go we'll lead the way come on you globies come on 
Absolutely. Take Pete's hand. Come on, boy. Come on, Al. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fetch. Fetch. Uh, oh dear. There we go. Anyway, um, no, I think that, that should wrap it up. But yeah, great, 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 great way of thinking. Water yeah. and air are the same stuff. One's air's the gas, water's the liquid. Simple as that. Air's the gas, or water's the liquid. Absolutely. No, but they're all the same stuff. Same stuff. Air is gaseous form, form of water. Of water. And water's the liquid the form, form of, of air. air. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but we need to think of this name. We need to think of a name. So, if you've got any suggestions of what we can call this yeah, what stuff, stuff, yeah, not ether. No, the ether is uh, not the, ether. the bit above it. It needs to have a very uh, absolutely a, a very a science name, a Latin name, a very discreet name, a very discreet, yeah. absolute name. Absolutely. But we'll, anyway, we'll give it some thought. Anyway, so uh, but that that's it. That's all we wanted to do. So thanks yeah, ever so thanks much. Thanks ever so much. Yes, it's and, been a um, pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll look forward to our next upload, um, and to, obviously to read lots of people's comments. Hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Anyway, so thanks ever so much, and always remember till next time. If something doesn't make sense, like oxygen and hydrogen being in water. And yeah. air being comprised of oxygen, uh, oxygen, nitrogen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, yeah. argon, and other trace elements. Absolutely, absolutely, it's all rubbish. Absolutely, because uh, water is air, and air is water. Absolutely, of course. Anyway, so it takes over so much. Oh, it's been <sighs> a pleasure. I've had a long day. Absolutely, absolutely. Bye. Done. -da. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere, it's flat.